Hey there, my name is Zim. I'm here to ask and answer a very simple question. Can you play Six Degrees of Freedom Minecraft in the Oculus Quest right now, as of August 2019? In fact, you can. Discovered that this afternoon as I was playing around with a headset and virtual desktop. So let me talk you through it, all the components you're going to need to be able to play full tetherless freedom, Six Degrees of Freedom, Minecraft and Oculus Quest. First thing, you are going to need one of these, an Oculus Quest. Surprise, surprise. So, where do you get that? A uh, place I would recommend getting it is the Oculus Store, which you can see here. Um, I don't think you're probably going to need the 128 gigabyte version, but if you're having issues getting one, going to 128 isn't too bad. I've had a 128 gig model myself for some time, but I've got basically every app on the store on there, and I've still got some 40 gigs left. So uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of gamage. Um, anyway, 400 quid gets you that. After that, what do you need? Well, you're also going to need SideQuest. SideQuest is an application that allows you to sideload uh, applications and games on here, emulating the Android device that's inside the Oculus Quest, and allowing you to shut things on there that aren't available for you in the default Oculus Home. So, what do we have to do to get SideQuest going? Well, you just Google SideQuest and you'll come to this website called GitHub, which a lot of developers will know. And actually, when I first went to this site, the first probably 20 times, I was quite confused at all the tabs and the options here. Yes, it's relatively simple, uh, but I'm not the most observant of people. So anyway, to help you save uh, the headache that I had, if you want to download something, it's not the build uh, that's actually listed on the front page. It is actually under the Releases tab, which is over here. Releases then shows versions that have actually been packaged, ready, and what you would expect as a normal consumer as an executable that you can just run on a Windows machine. So what you do is you go to the latest release and scroll on Z down, and what you're looking for here is SideQuest Setup 0.63exe, or a more recent edition if you want it. Uh, you can also get that in a zip file for deployment on Windows. So these are actually built packages. Source code if you're really tinkery and you want to go in there and look at how they make it all work. Uh, after that, what's the next thing that we need? Well, we need another one. We're going to need Virtual Desktop. Now, Virtual Desktop is an application which is really cool. Um, you, virtual Desktop allows you from the Quest to view and control a desktop. Single display, so single monitor. You can't do multi-monitor at the moment, although I believe there's an option to flip between them. Um, and what that is going to let you do is not only look at your flat monitor, but also to pass through over, say, 5G Wi-Fi, a local area network, uh, to the Quest, the full six, de six degrees of freedom motion, so that you're able to actually move your hands as you would on PC Minecraft. Now, we're talking about the Java edition of Minecraft, which is my personal favorite. This is not Bedrock. Uh, which is the Windows 10 edition. Uh, it's the latest Java version, which I prefer as a, a server admin for a couple of Minecraft servers. What are the benefits of it? Um, too long to list right now, but I suppose take, take my word for it. There are advantages to both. Both are actually really solid. Uh, one was retuned, coded up by John Carmack. What a legend. Uh, so the, the Bedrock Edition runs really well. It's super easy if you're if you're kind of get a little bit sim sickness and stuff from it. But anyway, I'll leave that to another discussion. All you know, need to know for now is you're going to need an Oculus Quest with SideQuest on there, ready to go, and Virtual Desktop. Now, you need a copy of Virtual Desktop to be able to do this next thing. So. Um, what is next? So we move to Virtual Desktop. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Virtual Desktop. So Virtual Desktop has two main components. Uh, there's the component which is the, the sorry, I'll say three. The Oculus Home version of Virtual Desktop, which lets you do all the normal native stuff. The sideloaded version of Virtual Desktop, which allows you to use Steam VR on a PC. And it's actually SteamVR's pass-through that you're going to use to get through to Vivecraft. So that's going to be an important step as well. So anyway, you need Virtual Desktop. Virtual Desktop also has with it uh, the third component, the downloader, uh, sorry, the, the streamer app, which, is, which you can download here on the website. This is a client that's installed on your, des on your desktop and that allows the communication between the mobile app and your P 
PC on your network. You can actually do that remotely, but anyway, for this application, we're not going to be doing that. So those are the, the main things that you're going to need. Now, I didn't mention yet Vivecraft. So you do need a PC as well. I don't have one to show you, um, but you know what a PC looks like. You know, it looks a little bit like this. It's got some cables going into it, uh, some memory. Make sure you got a network port. You're going to want that. Um, so you need a PC, and then you load that PC with an application called Vivecraft. Um, you are going to need a, a Java version of Minecraft for Vivecraft to be able to work. It doesn't work with the Windows 10 or Bedrock edition of Minecraft, unfortunately, so that those two aren't going to go hand in hand together. So the first thing you need, of course, is um, to, to put on that is go over to Minecraft.net, right? Buy yourself a version of the Java edition of Minecraft, set up your Mojang account, um, and you're ready to go. Then you go back to Vivecraft and you go, okay, but Zim, where do I download what I need? It can be a little bit confusing. There's a few options. And I'm actually, if you're interested in mixed reality, I'm going to show you that this works for that as well. Pretty like the whole package here. So first off, you're going to need obviously Java edition, you know, Minecraft. You need Vivecraft. Uh, make sure Java is actually installed if this is a new build. Okay, don't forget that. Steam has to be installed with Steam VR enabled and, um, and it'll run when Vivecraft is running anyway. And then you can follow some steps here. And then you go to the downloads section. Yeah. And you can see the latest versions. Here's some current versions, 114.4. They're just soldiering forward with these versions. It's mad. Props to the developers behind Vivecraft. They're doing a really excellent job. I love Vivecraft. And the fact that they're keeping pace with Minecraft releases is a bit insane for the amount of coding work that they got to do in the background just to keep pace. Um, so you want the uh, VR client. Uh, for this. Now, as I said, I'm a server admin for Minecraft servers, so there is actually an option with Vivecraft. If you've got a buddy who wants to play and see your arm movements and stuff like that, uh, there's actually a 2D client, the non-VR version. And so if you play with a compatible server, like you can find at mc.zimtalk5.com, uh, there's a VR Minecraft server that allows 2D players to actually see when a, a VR person goes like, hey, why don't we go over there and find some diamonds? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Especially because not all your friends are probably going to have VR at this stage. So there's that, okay? It's probably something a little complicated. We'll flash back to the diagram here. So again, what do we need so far? Oculus Quest, Side Quest, which is the app that goes on, uh, Virtual Desktop, and Vivecraft. Those are all the kind of software elements you need. You need the client installed on the PC so that your PC is listening and ready to communicate with virtual desktop. I recommend testing and attempting the virtual desktop connection first before you move any further here. And then the next thing I would uh, just show you, just so you've seen it and you kind of feel a little bit more comfortable about the whole thing, is how does SideQuest actually look. So once you've gone through SideQuest's setup steps, and you they are a little bit complicated. It took me maybe about a half an hour to get them all cleared. So you install the SideQuest EXE, right? So you get that running. Uh, you go over and you'll follow the steps in here. So you create an organization uh, in your Oculus account and basically say, hey, it's, you know, ZimVR is my company. And then that allows you, as a pseudo developer, access to SideQuest. You install some drivers, including ADB, and then you connect your Quest via a cable. You're going to need an Oculus, sorry, an Oculus, a, uh, a USB-C to whatever your computer takes cable to be able to connect. That doesn't come in the box, so you might need to go out and get one from Amazon or somewhere. Okay, and then you got to enable developer mode to allow this thing to work. So that's a step you're going to need to do as well. Again, this is pretty well documented uh, in other tutorial videos. Um, there's one by Ron Marcus, for instance, that's really well uh, laid out for how you set up SideQuest. So go check that out if you're interested. But once SideQuest is up and running, um, it's actually pretty easy. So you've got games you can load in here. One I'll call out here just for a moment because it's really feckin' cool is T for God, which is in here somewhere. This one here, really weird name, strange logo. The game is just really cool. Uh, check it out uh, when you get a chance. The apps in here, right? You want to go and pick up Virtual Desktop, right? So you pick up the Virtual Desktop app, is here. You install Latest, and that'll flash essentially the device side loading it onto the essentially Android <laughs> inside the Oculus Quest, and then it's ready to go. 
It's actually really straightforward once you get to this point. I know it's a lot of steps, but if you do them piecemeal and work up to it, you know, maybe one day set up virtual desktop, get comfortable with that. Next day, do the side quest. Before long, you'll be Minecrafting in here totally six off with all that freedom. And let me tell you, it's freaking cool. I, I played for about an hour this morning, um, and I hate that I didn't do that on stream. I'm, I'm usually a VR live streamer, but I like, I just had to, I just had to try it, you know? And also it's gonna be a little bit complicated. I'll explain in a minute. So that's well and good. So we've got all the bits we need. We've got the Oculus Quest. We've got side quest installed and running. We've side loaded virtual desktop. You've bought a license to Virtual Desktop, for instance, on PC. You've got a PC running Vivecraft, right? And you've launched Minecraft and gotten Vivecraft working at least once. Uh, your Virtual Desktop client is installed and listening away, saying, hey, I'm ready to connect. You connect via Virtual Desktop to your PC, and using that connection, just launch Vivecraft, and the connectivity works straight away. You'll see in front of you a large um, menu, and then you select maybe multiplayer servers, maybe connect to Zim server, or a single player map, and you just go have a bit of fun. There's a bunch of options in Vivecraft, um, so what you see in my little video that I show you just now won't necessarily be the defaults. Uh, for instance, when I'm playing uh, Minecraft, I actually physically have to jump to jump up blocks. I don't recommend that for everybody. I just think it's kind of silly and fun. So now I'm going to show you a quick video of this actually running. So this was me playing a little bit earlier. Minecraft mixed reality and uh, in the quest. It's actually working. It's freaking crazy. That's freaking crazy. Awesome. And so that's that. That's the video. So essentially what you've got, uh, for those who were wondering what that scene was, let me just zoom back, kind of zoom back there to kind of this monitor. So what you can see actually in this view, if I come back here just a second, so what you can see is a four panel. This is for mixed reality. This is another feature in Vivecraft. So actually what I can do is as a, as a content creator, I can create a scene in OBS and I can actually make it look like I'm holding a pickaxe in my hands. And I can do that wirelessly tethered from the Quest. Now the problem that I have, as you can see, is I've only got two monitors. And so the problem is I need to essentially capture uh, and monitor things like chat and all that kind of stuff running, have an administrative desktop, and then on the other side, I also need to be capturing the Quest to show it to people. But also on top of that, I need to have mixed reality. So really I would need three monitors for that setup to work well on streaming, and it's a bit heavy in terms of the software side, so I may or may not actually tinker with that. We'll see. But that's why I thought I'd put out this video to just show you how all the bits fit together. So, summarizing again, just to bottle this all up, Oculus Quest, SideQuest, Virtual Desktop, Vivecraft, Virtual Desktop Client, and of course a PC, something that looks like a bit like a potato. So hopefully that'll sort you out. It is possible. It's very cool to play that way. Uh, totally tetherless. You can walk into another room and just play away and you're playing on the machine. Your, your PC obviously needs to be strong enough to handle Vivecraft. Your Wi-Fi network needs to be uh, ideally a 5G network to be able to port it. But I found almost no latency as I was moving uh, the controllers around. And I'll just flash that again just to show you what the, uh, what the movement was like in there. Minecraft. It was one for one. Reality. There wasn't stutter. And, uh, there wasn't an issue that way. Quest. And it was like, it was Actually pretty, working. it was it, it was just pretty it's impressive pretty that, that I even worked. I kind of put it together. Okay. I'd thought about it the other day and I thought, awesome. you know, is this, is this combination of software elements going to actually work together? Oddly enough, it does. So, uh, good luck. I hope you share as well uh, in the comments uh, if you've managed to get it working. If there's a step that I've forgotten, you need some more help, uh, please just write me. I will uh, I will advise as best I can so you can get that working as well. And again, just to just to let you know, if you if you do want to try it out with other people, we have a server at mc.zentalk5.com. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon. Oh, and like the video or whatever. You know. Bye.